The Four Color Theorem, a game by Josh Pennant. Hello. All right. I kind of thought there might be an explanation, but I think we're just going right in. Oh, we're just going right in. Okay. Oh, and then there's credits down here. Huh. So according to the Steam page, the idea is that you're not supposed to make any colors match next to each other. So none of the colors that touch can be the same color. Yep, and that's that just deleted the yellow, because they're next to each other. So you'd want to have green there. The lack of music is slightly getting to me <laughs> immediately. I'm like, huh, there's just no audio feedback, which feels strange. So I can't put anything next to anything else here. So it's yellows there, greens there. So I'm, I'm on all four sides, I'm got those four colors. Probably want to put yellow here then, and green down here. Which should make it possible to have blue have no neighbors. There we go. Do I click on this open space? What? Oh yeah, the entire background can be one color. That basically just bans you from using purple for the entire- I mean blue from the entire game. But, like, those colors don't matter. Okay. Wait, why did the 50, what was the 55 star supposed to mean, I wonder? So you left click to fill a cell with color and you right click in order to change colors. It almost feels like they're giving you the solution, but they're totally not, because they're showing oh, way more colors than you have access to during that preview segment thing. The strategy seem that seems fitting is to spam one color as much as possible without having any repeats. Like, you just want to take your starting color, and you just want to click on as many places as you can without a single repeat then stagger to a different color. And that probably applies to the entire game. I wonder if the score is based on my time or anything. It's almost less of a puzzle game and more of, let's say, like a, a zen game. I think of, like, uh, that game I have called Zenbound, where all you do is wrap wooden figures that have nail in them with a rope, and that's the whole game, and you get scored based on how much of it you can fill up. That kind of stuff. 73 out of 70... I don't know what the score system is here. Does it count down over time? 10 out of 30. Are you scored based on the color you choose? That's odd. That's really odd. Huh. Why- why do the colors have different values and is- I actually don't know, is, is a higher score better or worse? I think, I think the 57 might be the highest possible score you can get, and so you'd want to prioritize yellow as much as possible to get the highest score possible, and then switch to other colors. I think that's what they're going for here. I don't think there was ever a start menu or an explanation in this game. Are those the, are those the levels where I got maximum score? I wonder. We can go back to four and, t and test it, I suppose. Yellow, yellow. Blue, blue. Yellow. Yeah. Oops. 
Yep, that's a gold star now. Okay, so it's actually, yeah, you try to get as much, there's actually a little, little bit of strategy going on there, then you maximize your yellow usage and so on. It's, a uh, slightly weird that some colors are more important than others, but, eh. Let's see. No. I can surely find a way to put more yellow in there than that. Can I do more than three? I'm not sure. Nope, that's the best score. I wonder if they have absolutely... Like, if they're absolutely sure that that's the best score ever. Or if, uh... Or if perhaps they, that's just the best they found and some of these might be... You might, you might be able to beat their own high score or something. Um... So what I'm gathering is the first mistake I started making is that it's probably a correlation with me stopping getting gold stars and when they started having me color in the background. Because I would just click on the background with yellow immediately, not realizing the scoring system. Definitely bare minimum as far as presentation goes. Oh, those are internal. Hmm. Definitely want those to be that color then. Except now every color is exposed. No, green can be, red can be that side. That's fine. You can get seven more though, and I failed to get that. It probably stands out like crazy to someone. Well, I mean, if there's three reds, one, two, three, that means I should, I should probably make the background yellow then. There we go, maximum score. It really is incredible how... ...dead suddenly a puzzle game feels. Maybe it's just me, but when I'm doing commentary over it and I just hear silence the entire time I'm not talking, it's like actually like really weirdly uncomfortable. Pro tip, there's a chat there's a dude, Kevin McLeod, he just puts out uh free music, more or less, or not I mean uh, royalty free music. Even though it means his stuff shows up everywhere. <laughs> See, we have an inside and an outside, which is kind of a problem, isn't it? If you want to, and they touch absolutely everything, so it has to be a color you don't want to use anywhere else. This little ring creates a problem where it just touches so many individual things that it just gets in the way of everything. I suppose that could be red, and then this could be green. Oh, that's the maximum score. Alright. Oh, well, these shapes are getting odd. There's actually a bit more to this entire concept than I thought there'd be. Especially with the high scores, the high score element actually gives you a bit to strive for, although... I'm not having too much trouble with it, it would appear. Oops. You can't do inside or outside of this area because it connects to everything. Probably better just to use these then. That's a whole lot more yellow. And maybe alternating squares of blue. Unless I can do something cleaner. Including that might be cleaner, so maybe these opposite corners, but then I can't do like anything else. That was four, so it's that's better.
We need to do a higher we need to do a higher score. Wow, okay, the margin of error is getting way larger now. 90 out of 111. So you could spend a decent amount of time trying to optimize these. Hmm. That's four. Can I get more than four yellows? So I can try the outsides, but you can't really go... Oh! You, you, you end up make, making like a chain link. Whereas blue can be the outside and then anything that's not touching the outside, basically. Or that's probably more than that. Not quite. There's some small change I could have made that would have fixed this. Alright. Figure that's a lot of yellow. Gonna start trapping myself, aren't I? Let's slip the yellow there. That way I can duplicate red here. Then green on the outside. Maximum score. I wonder how much thought you have to put into making a level for this game. Or if you just start drawing shapes and just kind of go with it. I imagine some of the strategies you want to apply yellow to as many small pieces as possible. They're all disparate and all over the map because then they don't uh, connect to anything else, perhaps? Giving you more freedom. But then you reach the end of the color sequence and you'll start hitting points where there's nothing else to apply the color to, and you're in trouble. Like, you get a chain problem where if I make the whole outside green, you have this problem where this is every color, so now you need to figure out how to make that any other color. Because it touches green, yellow, red, and blue. The easiest change, I think, is just to make it yellow, actually. There we go. I'm shy by two points, of course I am. I forgot what level we're in versus how long the game is. I'm in 20 out of 50. What does that mean? Oh, the the Pentagon means I haven't beaten it yet. Star means I have beaten it yet. Or have, have beaten it already. Yeah, let's not try to apply the giant color to be the one that you can't have things next to. Not a lot to work with there, is there? Is the outside colored in this one? It is. Crap. It's kind of a big deal. And the outside touches absolutely everything except for that guy. Oh, blue hasn't touched the outside just by happenstance. There's a very real risk that I might beat this game during a let's try, judging by the uh, number of episodes allowed. Although I have a hard time limit because we're doing D&D soon. Oh, I almost missed that. A chance for another piece of blue for a little bit of a higher score. Nope, because I already made the outsides blue. I guess it'd have to be red. The go I think the first strategy you start to develop is just to do alternating corners. Like, when the corners are touching, that means that they don't actually count as touching, which means you can spam one color, but 
A clever level would start turning that on your on its head and trapping you for trying to do that, probably. The outside is colored on this one. Well, then I guess it's yellow, isn't it? Oh, I'm shy, shy by two points. Alright, these are getting dense. A lot of yellow, though. Usually a good sign. Oops. Definitely, yeah, there we go. You definitely just try to apply green to the lowest number of things possible. Definitely noticing reoccurring pattern types, shape types, I guess. This particular thing that looks like some kind of like uh, MC Escher picket fence. Is that the best we can do? Hmm, problem. That touches the outside. So it can't be green. Oops. Oh man, you, you make one misclick and a whole bunch of colors get undone. Uh, so it touches yellow, it touches red, it touches blue, it touches green. Might need to plan a rewind. I guess which color is touching this thing that could be changed? Green can only become yellow if we remove some of the outside yellows. You get kind of trapped, don't you? Making all of these yellows green would be kind of a disaster. Even the thing seems to indicate that making one more yellow was the difference between in points I need overall. Son of a bitch. Alright. I wonder if it's better just to start over than to try to fix this. How could I have gotten one more yellow? Well, first of all, you can be a yellow. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sudden point spike. Let's try to turn everything touching this into red. So that you can be blue. Is that an improvement at all? I mean, all four colors are still exposed to the outside. Red, blue, green, yellow. So I kind of can't pick any of the colors for the outside color still. And now the and now we are at a standstill. All right. Admittedly, my brain kind of has trouble even locking onto a thing to start focusing on in this mess. Let's just start it over. Just re-clicking on it, clear it out. There we go. Now I can redo the exact same thing. <laughs> Watch me. It's a lot of yellow. It's a lot of yellow. Let's make the outside green. 
And then maybe ever make everything that doesn't touch the outside green to see if that opens up our options. I think that's my little problem is that this thing is a different color. I could alternate the green differently though, right? Make that green and that yellow. And suddenly we have an opening for a red. And I'm 17 points short. I at, le at least actually solved it this time though. Hmm. Outer corners. Seems like if you even touch a particular layer, you lose access to the next layer for that color. Makes me wonder if there's a smarter approach. Oops. Oh, you, you, you break stuff apart fast when you misclick. There we go. There is a pleasing symmetry to it all, the weird abstract shapes are just kind of filling in at random. Why am I doing that? I've told myself not to use the big long colored areas as being yellow because then I can't put yellow anywhere else. I'm trying to maximize the yellow. There we go. Maximal yellow, perhaps. Or, no, the negative spaces is maximum yellow. This is a level where the background is actually where all the points are. Right. And the and the big obvious structural shapes are actually the least used ones. So you want those to be the the green. We went we went and done mastered that one, I suppose. I want to specifically avoid the giant shape if I can, so let's go around the giant shape. Is there a better system? Like maybe something like this? That might have led to an identical number of them. One, oh, we're short three points. I don't think there's a single remaining opening here. I think I'm I think I'm trapped now. Okay, so switching to maximum bluage. I assume that outside is still yep, outside's still color, so the internal one should be which should be green. There we go. Still short two points. Games make me feel inadequate all of a sudden. Oops, I hit reset. Does it still save my points? It would help if I knew what level I just played. Yep, that's not the same level, so I did save my stats. Alright, we're gonna cut it here, because I've actually gotta go. But, uh, thanks for watching like always, guys. This is the Color Theorem. Uh, if you hear any music, it was pr it's probably some sort of- it's either from OC Remix or Kevin McLeod or something. Uh, because this game has been dead silent. Uh, linked in the description if you want to find the game itself. There's a number of levels remaining, and you can also try to actually get the stars on all these other levels if you want. Thanks for watching like always guys, and I'll see you next time.